This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Drive shaft renewal. Before proceeding, check that the handbrake is fully applied. Chock the rear wheels. Remove the front wheel trims and slacken the wheel bolts. Raise the front of the vehicle using a jack. Support it on axle stands. Lower the vehicle onto the axle stands. And remove the jack. The front wheels can now be removed from the vehicle. Pull out the R-clip securing the drive shaft nut and remove the hub nut locking cage. Refit the wheel and tighten the wheel bolts. Raise the vehicle using a jack. Remove the axle stands and lower the vehicle to the ground. Remove the jack. Slacken the drive shaft nut. Remove the front wheel trims and slacken the wheel bolts. Raise the front of the vehicle using a jack. Support it on axle stands. Lower the vehicle onto the axle stands. And remove the jack. The front wheels can now be removed from the vehicle. Unclip the wiring for the ABS wheel speed sensor to make sure it isn't damaged as the hub assembly is moved. Remove the drive shaft retaining nut. Undo the brake caliper guide pin or guide pin bolts. and slide the caliper from the disc. Suspend the caliper from the suspension coil spring using a cable tie to prevent straining the brake hose. Discard the guide pin bolts because new ones must be fitted. Undo the nut and disconnect the upper end of the anti-roll bar link rod from the suspension strut. Slacken the track rod end nut. Then undo the retaining nut and, using a ball joint separator tool, disconnect the track rod end from the hub carrier. Slacken and remove the two bolts securing the hub carrier to the base of the suspension strut. Note that the strut to hub carrier bolts are inserted from the rear. Tap the shaft from the hub and pull the hub carrier outwards to free it from the strut. Remove the shaft intermediate bearing retainer upper bolt and then remove the lower bolt and remove the retaining plate. Carefully pull the swivel hub assembly outwards and withdraw the jive shaft outer constant velocity joint from the hub assembly. If necessary, the shaft can be tapped out of the hub using a soft-faced mallet. Support the drive shaft and then lever the inner constant velocity joint from the transmission, taking care not to damage the drive shaft oil seal. Remove the drive shaft from the vehicle. Carefully locate the inner drive shaft splines with those of the differential sun gear, taking care not to damage the oil seal. Align the intermediate bearing with its mounting bracket and push the drive shaft fully into position. If necessary, use a soft faced mallet to tap the outer race of the bearing into position in the mounting bracket. 
locate the outer constant velocity joint splines with those of the swivel hub and slide the joint back into position in the hub. Ensure that the intermediate bearing is correctly seated and then rotate its retaining plate back into position against the bearing outer race. Tighten the retaining bolts. Where necessary, ensure that the dust seal is tight against the drive shaft oil seal. Rotate the base of the strut 90 degrees and align the hub carrier with the brackets on the strut. Insert the bolts. Tighten the bolts using a torque wrench. Refit the track rod end to the stub axle and tighten the track rod end nut. Then torque the track rod end nut. Refit the brake caliper and insert new guide pin bolts. Use a torque wrench to tighten the caliper guide pin bolts. Refit the anti-roll bar upper link joints and tighten with a torque wrench. Refit the ABS wheel speed sensor wiring back into its retaining clips. Lubricate the inner face and threads of the drive shaft nut with clean engine oil and refit it to the end of the drive shaft. Use the method employed on removal to prevent the hub from rotating and tighten the drive shaft retaining nut. Refit the wheel and tighten the wheel bolts. Lightly tighten the drive shaft nut. Raise the vehicle using a jack. Remove the axle stands and lower the vehicle to the ground. Remove the jack. The chocks can now be removed from the rear wheels. With the vehicle lowered, Use a torque wrench to tighten the shaft nut. Once tightened, make sure that the hub rotates freely. Engage the locking cap with the drive shaft nut so that one of its cutouts is aligned with the drive shaft hole. Before proceeding, check that the handbrake is fully applied. Chock the rear wheels. Raise the front of the vehicle using a jack, support it on axle stands, lower the vehicle onto the axle stands and remove the jack. With the vehicle off the ground, remove the wheel. Secure the cap in position with the R clip. Refit the wheel. Raise the vehicle using a jack, remove the axle stands and lower the vehicle to the ground. Remove the jack. Torque the front wheel bolts and refit the wheel trims. The chocks can now be removed from the rear wheels.